the authenticity of the voters register for the Bampon constituency presented by the petitioners to the witness for the second respondent, Dr. Kwejo Farijan, for cross-examination was called into question by the EC's commissioner, Dr. Farijan, argued that the register he had been served with was not the register used during the elections. The petitioners were also of the view that the register was served to the MPP in PDF format, which cannot be altered as being implied by Dr. Farijan. The argument was later settled by the court following a confirmation by Dr. Farijan that the order of pictures in the petitioner's copy of the register appeared different, but the content was the same. Mr. Philip Addison continued with his cross-examination of Dr. Farijan with list of polling stations with same polling station codes. This was to establish the fact that the polling stations were not used for special voting as Dr. Farijan had earlier indicated to the court in his evidence. Dr. Farijan insisted that he did not suggest that all the polling stations were used for special voting. He however confirmed that the duplications of the polling station codes were captured in the declaration of results. Mr. Addison next touched on the voters register for the Mampong constituency. This was to establish double registration. It was at this point that the authenticity of the register was called into question by the EC's commissioner. We, we have the external drives here handed over to the new patriotic party by the EC. They are here and we can demonstrate it. These are the things that were handed over, which contains all the information on the register. So we are interested because if he says this is not the register that was used for the election, then, then it, it's, it, it creates a huge problem. My Lord, the register has the same number of, of persons on it. I remember I said the other day that it was 1074. It's 1074 here, which means in, in, in terms of the number of voters is the same. The arrangement is different. The issue was put to rest after the court's recess when Dr. Farijan confirmed that the order of the pictures did not appear in the same format as the original voters register but agreed that the contents were the same. Councils for first and third respondents, Mr. Aziz Abbas and Mr. Chachuchikata, raised objections to the tendering of the document on the basis that there was no way the courts could confirm whether the document was what the EC presented to the NPP in soft copy. We cannot see a way clear to a document whose authenticity has not been established being put in evidence. The document which the witness has said was used for the election was brought by him previously. It has been brought again. And at this stage, it will be prejudicial to us. We have no opportunity to question either the witness or indeed the party that is seeking to tender it in respect of how that document was procured. We have no way of doing that. And so it would be prejudicial to us to have that document also put in evidence. My Lord, it, 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 it will be prejudicial to our case for, for this document uh, to, to go in. Dr. Farijan was also to confirm from a list some unique polling stations that were not captured by the KPMG's report but being identified by the petitioners. Dr. Farijan indicated that the commission has also identified more polling stations. Dr. Farijan was questioned on why election recommendations he had made to Nigeria did not apply in Ghana's elections. Election results declared from the Lejokuku constituency was another area of contention. The question was met with objections by the respondents on the basis that the issue did not form part of the petitioner's pleadings. By a computation of the pink sheets had 40,662 in Lejokuku, but the announced result was 30,605, a difference of 10,057. What do you say to that? So this line of questioning is contrary to the pleadings and contrary to the evidence that Dr. Baumia gave, that they were no longer relying on this uh, allegation of a discrepancy between the votes as counted and the votes as declared. There's neither a pleading in respect of this matter that is being put, nor has there been any indication that that withdrawal that was given in evidence 
is not still operative. And my lords, we will be severely prejudiced. My cross-examination was curtailed on the basis that they, they, they actually um, withdrawn that allegation. The court is to check and come back tomorrow to give a ruling on the issue. Mr. Addison has again indicated that his cross-examination, which was intended to end today, will end tomorrow.